All right, it is time to talk about everybody's favorite section, rotations. It's not really everybody's favorite section. People struggle with this one a lot, but we will be able to get through it. So in number 11, when you rotate a figure, does every point move the same distance explain? That is not true. All the points will move at the same angle, but points near the center of rotation will move less distance than points that are farther away from the center of the rotation. So we can say no. All the points, the points will move the same angle, but points that are close to the center of rotation, but points close to the center of rotation will move less than points further away, less of distance, we should say distance than points further away. All right. Number 12, Shannon says that X prime, Y prime, Z prime is a rotation of triangle X, Y, Z around P. What is the correct transformation from triangle X, Y, Z to X prime, Y prime, Z prime? Well, if it was a rotation, then we would start here and the new image would be upside down. Z would go down to here. Y would come up to here. And that's not what has happened here. This is a reflection. So we can say no. She used a reflection. A reflection. If it was rotated, the image would be upside down. If it was rotated, the image would be, be, come on, upside down. All right. Number 13, points A prime and B prime are the images of points A and B after a 270 degree rotation about the origin. If the slope of AB is negative three, what is the slope of A prime B prime? So think about this. If we have a line and its slope was zero, if we rotated it 90 degrees, its slope would now be straight up and down. If we rotate it 180 degrees, its slope would be zero again. And if we rotate it at 270 degrees, its slope would be straight up and down again. So a movement 270 degrees is going to make a line perpendicular to the original, right? If this is the original and this is the 270 degrees, they're always going to be perpendicular. So it's going to be perpendicular. So if the slope of AB is negative three, then we want the opposite reciprocal. So we want one third, okay? So perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. Perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. Number 14, the diagram shows a rotation of 90 degrees about the origin of ABCD. What are the coordinates of ABCD? Now, the most, most, most important thing about this question is that the picture you are given is the image. It shows the rotation. You can tell because you've got the primes on there, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. The question is asking us, what are the coordinates of the original? 
So we have to say, well, this has been rotated 90 degrees. We want to rotate negative 90 degrees to find out. So we've got to say, this is the, I'm trying to write in all caps and I just can't do it, the image. We want to rotate negative 90 degrees to find out. Rotate backwards, negative 90 degrees to find out. And of course, negative 90 degrees is the same as a positive 270 degrees. So when we're making our A, B, C, and D, we will follow the guidelines for a positive 270 degree rotation. So where A prime is at negative 2, 1, we are going to switch those coordinates around and make the x coordinate positive. So that would be 1, 2. And we can go ahead and draw that in. So we can say a is at 1, 2. All right, and then we can keep going with the rest of these. So b, we're going to say this b prime was at negative 4, negative 2. We're going to switch it around, make that x, well, I guess we're going to make the x coordinate positive and then switch it around. And that is going to give us negative 2, 4. Okay? C, same thing. We're going to make the x coordinate positive and switch it around. That's going to be negative 6, 4. And D, when we make the x coordinate opposite and switch it around, that's going to be negative 3, 1. So then if we put all of these points on here, negative 2, 4, there's B, negative 6, 4, there's C, and negative 3, 1, there's D. And of course, connect all of these together to see what our original shape would have looked like. And there it is. A, B, C, D. 19 through 22, we're doing rotations. So in the number 19, we're rotating 90 degrees for D, E, F to find D prime, E prime, F prime. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Y coordinate, make it the opposite of what it is, and switch those two coordinates around. So D prime is going to be negative 5, comma 0. Again, same thing. Make that y coordinate the opposite and switch those two coordinates around. So e prime is going to be negative 8, comma negative 2. And f prime is going to be 5, negative 3. Number 20 for 270, we'll do the opposite coordinate. We will make the x coordinate opposite of itself and switch the x and y coordinates. So w started out as 4, negative 2. W prime, we're going to make that 4 a negative. We're going to switch them around to be negative 2 comma negative 4. W prime. X prime is going to be the same thing. It's going to be 3 comma negative 7. And Y prime is going to be 11 comma negative 1. And of course, we have Z prime as well here. We have a quadrilateral, and that is going to be 6, 4. Number 21, a rotation of 180 degrees just makes the x and y coordinates the opposite of what they are. It doesn't switch anything. So s prime is going to be 2 comma 6. t prime is going to be 5 comma negative 3. And u prime is going to be 1 comma, or sorry, negative 1 comma 0. 22, a rotation of 360 degrees is going to not change anything. So that one is going to be J prime at negative 4, 7. K prime at 1, 5. L prime at 6, 1. And M prime at 3, negative 9. All right, let's keep going. 24 ended up down here, but we'll do it now. Find the angle of rotation for the rotation about point S. That is the composition of a rotation across line M, or sorry, a reflection across line M and a reflection across 
line N. So what we need to do is we need to take the angle between the lines of rotation. If M is our first line of rotation and N is our second line, our shape is traveling counterclockwise here. And the angle between the lines of rotation is this angle. We can find that angle by doing obviously 180 minus 78. So that's a 102 degree angle. And of course, the actual angle of rotation is going to be double the angle between the line or yeah between the lines of reflection so we can say it's twice the angle between the lines of reflection and so we would do 2 times 102 degrees, which gives us 204 degree rotation. That would be the angle of rotation. 25, on to the back page now. What rotation must the driver gear make for gear A to rotate 90 degrees clockwise? Explain how you got your answer. So let's look at gear A first. If gear A ro rotates 90 degrees clockwise, right now gear A has eight teeth. We know 90 degrees is a quarter of a circle. So 90 degrees is going to be two teeth on gear A. So we want gear A to rotate two teeth. And the thing about gears, is when one of them is rotating clockwise, the other one's gonna be rotating counterclockwise and the teeth will mesh together. So if we're rotating two teeth clockwise on the gear A, we're also rotating two teeth counterclockwise on the driver gear. So two teeth on the driver gear is how many degrees? Well, the driver gear has 16 teeth. So it's two out of 16, which is one eighth of the circle. And one eighth of the circle times 360 degrees, one eighth of 360 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. So the rotation that the driver gear must make is 45 degrees counterclockwise, the opposite direction of gear A, because that will give it two teeth, and then it'll make this one rotate two teeth clockwise. All right, number 27. Lourdes created a design below by rotating triangle ABF, quadrilateral BCEF, and triangle CDE. Describe the rotation she used. How would you determine the angles of rotation? So she started with this triangle right here. And it's asking, what did she do to this triangle to get the rest of the design? Well, if we're creating a pentagon, we could do 360 degrees divided by five sides, right? It's got five sides. There's five of these designs. Each one of these designs takes up a 72 degree central angle. That's a 72, there's a 72, there's a 72, 72, and 72. So each shape is rotated 72 degrees. Each shape is rotated 72 degrees. A total of, don't get messed up on this, a total of four times because she started with a shape and she moved that shape four times to get the rest of the shapes. So four times about around, uh, I said about and around and then I wrote both of those words. Four times about the center. The center. All right, almost done. We are going to skip 28. I don't think it's on your worksheet. I just couldn't take it off of here. 
29, a point is rotated 270 degrees about the origin. The image of the point is negative 11, 7. What are the coordinates of the pre-image? So we have the after image, we want the before image. If we rotate it at 270 degrees, we're gonna have to rotate negative 270 degrees to get it back to the original. Negative 270 degrees is the same as a 90 degree rotation. So we could just take 11 negative, or sorry, negative 11, seven, and we could talk about how would we make negative 11, seven a 90 degree rotation. So rotation of 90 degrees about the origin of negative 11, seven would cause us to make the y coordinate opposite and switch those two around it would make it negative seven negative 11 and that would be the right answer that would be b all right so that's everything for this worksheet if you've got any questions let me know and have a wonderful day